was blind, but now I see. Hey there, welcome to Jam Fast, and welcome to your first video. Uh, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the three chords to play Amazing Grace to, uh, and a simple strum pattern so you can start practicing these three chords yourself. Uh, if you look online, you might notice there are many different chord progressions to play this song. This is called transposing, where we move the keys uh, into different places, but we'll get to that later on in the course. I specifically chose these three chords because they're all major chords, which is where our first lesson uh, starts from. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into Amazing Grace. Alright, so to get into it, we're going to learn the first chord of Amazing Grace, which is our A chord. Uh, hopefully already at this point you've looked at that PDF sheet that gives you numbers that reference our string numbers as well as our finger numbers. One being our index finger, two, three, and four. Uh, one string is going to be our thinnest and highest pitch string, down to our sixth string, which is our lowest and thickest string. Uh, frets that I'll be referring to are these here in between these metal bars. These are called frets, and so you'll start hearing me discuss our chords using finger numbers, string numbers, and the different fret numbers. So to start with our A, we're going to be using our pinky, which is our fourth finger. You're going to come down here on the second fret of the second string. Then we'll be using our ring finger, our third finger, just above it, also on the second fret of the third string. And then our middle finger, our second finger, is going to come just above that, also on the second fret of the fourth string. The A chord only plays strings one through five not playing the sixth string. So all together should sound like this. The next chord we'll be learning is our D major chord. We're going to be taking our one finger, our index finger, it's going to come on the second fret of the third string. Our second finger, middle finger, will come two below that, also on the second fret of the first string. And lastly, our ring finger, our third finger, will be coming down on the third fret of the second string. Now on the D major chord, we only play strings one through four. We do not play the fifth or sixth string. So altogether, those will sound like this. And the last chord you'll have to learn today is our E major chord. We'll also be taking our one finger, it's going to come on the first fret of the third string. Our middle finger is going to come all the way up on the fifth string of the second fret. And then our third finger, our ring finger, will come just below it, also on the second fret, but of the fourth string. And the key uh, of A, or the chord A rather, will be playing all six strings. So all together should sound like this. Now in practicing your chords, make sure to play every single note individually first and then strum all of them so that you can hear if any of the strings are specifically being muted or unable to hear the tone. So after applying that E chord, an example would be this. After you get that done, we'll be applying a simple down strum, which is the down strum on the down beat. In a 4-4 time signature, which we will get into later, uh, that means we have four counts, or four down strums, per measure. So starting with that A chord, we will then go to the D chord, and then finishing with the E chord. To start with, I will just be simplifying it by playing all those chords four strums each. That means four down strums on every chord. We'll go at a nice slow tempo and then we'll move on from there. 
If you need to work out the chords and then come back to this part of the video, feel free to do so. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Now to begin practicing these chords to Amazing Grace, we have to be specific when counting out the amount of strums, because unlike our example that we just did, they are slightly different when playing to the song itself. For example, to start out, we'll be playing four down strums on the A, two down strums on the D, six down strums back on the A, and then four down strums on the E. So follow along, I'll continue at that nice slow tempo and then we'll speed it up in a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do that one more time, but counting out loud so that you can hear we're doing four counts on the A, two on the D, six on the A, and then f to finish with four on the E. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we'll be moving on to the last part of this song, which counts a little bit differently. Do you remember how we just did four counts on the A, two on the D, six on the A, and four on the E? Well, now we're doing four on the A, two on the D, four on the A, two on the E, and then back to four on the A. I'm going to count this out so that you can hear how it works. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try to get that down and then we'll put it all together. Now that you've gotten those two different parts down, we're going to put those both together so you can complete a whole verse of Amazing Grace. I'm going to hum it. Uh, quietly so that you can hear how our chord progressions and our strumming fits into the song. Five, six, seven. Second part. If you weren't able to quite get that, practice it on your own and then come back to the video and try to play along with me. <laughs> 